Belgium. It is a very fascinating country when it comes to us looking at its people, culture, and its individual identity. However, lately here on FTD Facts, I've been diving into understanding what makes Belgium a great country. And with this particular video, we are going to understand and learn about how powerful Belgium is in the form of military perspective. Because although it may be a smaller country compared to others in terms of population and size, it's still a rather important one in the world that we know of today. How is it going, everybody? Welcome to FTD Facts. My name is Dave Wapple, and for those who are coming here for the first time, this is a channel where I look at people, cultures, and places from all around the world. And for my reoccurring people who are coming back, yo, welcome back, guys. It's great to see you again, and it's great to see you learning about different places from around the world. I really love that you guys are doing it, and I hope you guys are having a great day as well. Let me know how your day is going down there. But today, as I said, we're going to look at Belgium and see how much power this country has. I was actually pretty surprised at some of the important things within this country. I always thought it was a lot smaller and played a lesser role in the world, but well, we're going to find out, you're going to learn, and you might be surprised too. Now to start it all off, let's acknowledge the fact that the Belgium Armed Forces have been around for quite some time. And as a matter of fact, the country, people, and its politics have been a part of conflicts throughout history, from the Franco-Prussian Wars of 1870 to World War I, World War II, and were also a major contributor to the Cold War. And within the country, as of today, there is roughly a population of 11,491,000. But however, we're going to also look at this from a military perspective. Because of that population, the available manpower for the country is roughly 4,800,000 people. But within that, approximately 3,815,000 classify as fit for service. But within the Belgium Armed Forces, the total military personnel sits at approximately 29,225 people, with an active personnel of 28,526. Now, for the country, they also state that there's approximately 700 people in reserve units. Now, I don't know how accurate. I have a feeling that this number is a little bit off. If you are actually from Belgium and part of the Armed Forces and you know otherwise, let me know down there in the comments section below because here on FTD Facts, we don't mind if we're corrected from time to time. Also, guys, just to remind you, if you guys are really liking this video and you want more content around Belgium or just armed forces topics, be sure to hit that like button because if we get a lot, then we do more. Also, I want to mention that when it comes to these numbers, especially when it comes to the actual active personnel, that is based off of a 2018 report, in which the report mentions that those numbers are for the year's quota. But keep in mind, the constitution of the country states that the quota for the army can be changed and must be changed every single year. Of course, when we talk about how powerful this country is, we need to talk about what kind of people are actually within its military. Let's start from the bottom and work our way to the top. First of all, one has to be at least 18 years old to join the military, meaning that the reaching age of the military annually is roughly about 117,000 people. Also, in these power videos, I also like to mention whether or not women can actually join the military, so let's find out. Now, for Belgium, they actually do allow women to be part of their military, and around the early 2000s, it was reported that at least 3,120 women made up 7.18% of the Belgium Armed Forces. Now, for this particular military, they are divided up into what is known as four different components. And specifically, these components are the land component, the air, maritime, and medical components. Oh, also, is there conscription within this country? Well, actually, no. So for conscription for the country of Belgium, it has actually had a history of it. But as of December 31st, 1992, the Conscription Act became amended. And by March 1st of 1995, the armed forces of the country was on a volunteer basis only. So now let's look at these individual components. I want to start off with the air component that is basically the Air Force. The Belgian Air Component is actually one of the oldest air forces in the world, beginning in 1909. And before I get into this whole thing, I just want to mention the fact that Belgium is currently going through a somewhat of a modernization and an update of its aircraft. The reason is, is because they actually want to be able to improve their response times to not only within their own country, but other countries around the world. So that's the thing that they're going through. So with that, some of the numbers right now might not be the most accurate, but it's a loose estimate. 
With that in mind, their total aircraft strength sits at 164 approximately. And as for the main fighters of the country, they have approximately 44 of them, in which they use the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Now, when I mentioned that they were going through an upgrade, that is one thing that I also want to mention, is that these F-16s are pretty much going to be replaced by the new F-35 fighter. In which, as of October, they placed an order for 34 of these fighters, and they plan to be delivered in the shortcoming years. As for transports, they have approximately 49, and 11 of these currently are the Lockheed C-130 aircraft. However, I should also mention that they do have 7 new aircraft on order, and they are the large Airbus A400M Atlas tactical aircraft. For trainers, this country has quite a lot of them, sitting at 70, in which 9 of them are the F-16. Their total helicopters sit at 33. For helicopters, I should mention that they don't have any what is known as attack helicopters. Most of these are classified as utility helicopters. And as a matter of fact, they just recently purchased the NH-90, which is a major European helicopter, to be added to their list. And with that in mind, I should also mention that the country is planning on adding a aerial refueler, and as well, they plan to purchase UAVs that are used mainly for reconnaissance and not attack. Land components, let's go right down to the ground. Now you may wonder, does this country actually have any tanks? Well, unfortunately it has zero. And of course you may wonder why, well the reason for this was in 2014, Belgium retired the last of its Leopard MBTs. However, there's also a major rumor that they also do have a few of these Leopards left in storage. However, there's no official number that's been stated, so I can't say whether or not that's true or not. Again, if you know anything and you're from the armed forces, let us know down there because I'm very curious. And for the last time one of these Leopard MBTs were seen in public was during the Independence Day Parade of 2014. And the main reason the army decided to get rid of all these vehicles is because they wanted to remove tracked equipment and go with wheeled equipment instead. Also for armored fighting vehicles, they sit at 545. Currently, 268 of these are the Piranha C3. However, these will also be replaced in 2025 by the VBMR Griffin, in which they've currently ordered 417 of these as of 2017. I'm not going to lie, does anyone ever think that these VBMRs look a little bit like something from the Jurassic World series? They look a little too futuristic for me. I don't know, that's just me. Your thoughts down there. As for artillery, the country does not possess or own self-propelled artillery units. They do have approximately 14 towed artillery. However, to find this number, I actually had to dig a bit because I'm not 100% on this one either. Because I've read that they do have an artillery department that is known as the Artillery Battalion, in which they have approximately 900 soldiers within it. And of these 14 artillery units, they use the LG-1 105mm cannons. As for their surface-to-air batteries, they were disbanded on December as of 2017. Which means, of course, this country also doesn't have any rocket projectors at all. Now, one particular unit that is sometimes forgotten about when we think of the Belgian forces is the Navy. And this is unfortunate for the guys that do serve the country because I think one of the reasons why it's sometimes forgotten about is because it's a rather small Navy. Officially known as the Maritime Component, they say they have roughly 17 Navy assets. Of course, this country has no use for aircraft carriers, and they do have two frigates. Now, interesting enough, when it comes to the frigates within Belgium, they actually have a partnership with the Netherlands. This is because of these two frigates, they are the Corel Dorman class frigates, which if you guys watched during our Dutch Navy video, which I just recently did, I'll just put a card up here if you guys want to check it out, um, they pretty much use the Corel Dorman type frigate, and it's from that country. And these two frigates are the Leopold I and the Louise Marie. And of course, they've been around since 1991, and although they may seem older, they recently got a facelift and were modernized in between the years of 2012 to 2012. 15. However, to solidify the partnership with the Netherlands, these two countries actually are planning to completely replace the Corel Dorman with a new type of frigate. And although not much is known about this new surface combatant ship, they say that they plan on replacing it anywhere between 2020s to 2030s, with Belgium planning to have their first one by 2027. 
Of course, when it comes to other frigates, they used to have more, but in 2007, they sold off the last few ones to Bulgaria. And of course, to dive more into the Navy itself, they have zero destroyers, they also have zero corvettes, and zero submarines. However, they have approximately two patrol vessels, six mine warfare vessels, and of course, two support vessels. Now, probably the biggest question of them all, and that is the one that I want to know, is nukes. Does Belgium have them? Let's find out. Well, firstly, let's mention that Belgium has been a major part of what is known as the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and has been a major member since it signed and ratified it in 1968. Currently, though, Belgium does not own or possess any forms of nuclear weapons or missiles. However, they do have them in the country. I'll explain that. This is because although Belgium does not own its own nukes, it is part of the NATO nuclear sharing program, which means the United States of America pretty much has a couple of missiles within the country and the United States owns those missiles. Belgium does not. And currently within Belgium, they say there's anywhere between 10 to 20 of these missiles and they are operated by the 52nd Fighter Wing, which is a U.S. fighter group. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Okay, you're saying to yourself, okay, well, wait, if there's missiles in the country, can they just, you know, fire them off at any time? Well, no, that's not allowed to happen because with the NATO sharing program, because these are nuclear missiles that are owned by the United States, they have to get permission from the United States to use them. So I hope that cleared things up for you guys. Just because there's missiles in the country does not mean that they are owned by Belgian forces. And with that in mind, because it's part of the NATO nuclear sharing program, that means Belgium is a part of NATO and it has a lot of allies. And it's been that way since it joined in 1949. On top of that, one last thing when it comes to Belgium, let's be real, when it comes to having allies, it's got a lot of them. Because Belgium could be considered one safeguarded little treasure in Europe. And this is because not only is Belgium a part of the EU, but the city of Brussels is home to the headquarters of the European Union. So the last thing that you would ever want to do is do something bad in Belgium to disrupt the economy of the other 27 countries that are a part of the European Union. That would be a bad idea. So there you have it, guys. That is me just looking at the amount of power that Belgium actually has. What are your thoughts on this? And did we miss any really cool facts about Belgium that makes it powerful? Of course, I didn't really get too much into the economy of the country, but hey, it's major influencer of the European Union. But either way, guys, my name is Dave Wapple. Thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, if you guys really like this video and you guys you know, want more Belgian topics or you want more power or military topics, yo, be sure to let me know down there in the comments section below and hit those like buttons because like buttons is the best way to find out if you guys actually like the content. You know, you know what I mean? But other than that, if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification so you can stay in tune with the stuff that we're doing. But other than that, this is the great and amazing country of Belgium. Besides its culture and its people, it is one really important country in the entire world. As it's always a country that is always contributing to the world and improving on old ideas. This is Belgium, one country that definitely surprised me in how powerful it actually was. Okay, so if you like this video, first of all, check out this video on just Belgium itself. I mean, I learned a lot about what makes this country great. I think you guys will really, really like this. On top of that, check out our country's playlist and learn about different countries from around the world. You'd be surprised at the stuff you can learn about and you can impress your friends. You can act like you've actually been there, although you probably haven't. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.